career. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. 85 mile an hour fastball. Satchel Page used to call it throwing bees at your knees, Jerry. First for the right-hander with a 2-2 pitch. Outside corner, strike three called. Those are three masterful fastballs that Gamble has thrown to the last two hitters to get big strikeouts. So he's ahead of Frederick, Troy's all-time hits leader now. And the pitch, that's a ground ball to the third baseman. Knocked down by Williams. He'll have no play as it rolls out of his glove. Totally the wrong thing to say. <laughs> Here's the 3-2. And he rips, and that's an incredible play. Do you believe Jesse Hall? Absolutely unbelievable. Well, he made one on Sunday, I thought, Barry. We'll get a look at this one that uh, couldn't be taught, but this one may well do it. Just ripped off the bat. He goes parallel, immediately reads it, and gets it about uh, a foot and a half off of the turf to really rob. Ramirez. Jack State down in order. Bottom of the second we go. We are scoreless. Big one here for Fultz against Strachan. Stretch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Change up and Strachan could not meet it. One two pitch. And here it comes. Line drive. Base hit into right field. Boy, on the kiss of death tonight. Challenged him with the fastball there. Stearns can turn on the fastball. Didn't really turn on that one, but uh, got the barrel on it and went the other way for a leadoff single. Had to knock it down at third. Couldn't. The 0-2 grounded down the third baseline. That is a fair ball past Williams, and Frederick is on his way to second with a two-out double. Frederick's 10th this year. Carrigan, Crow, and Ramirez do up. Little number here past the pitcher. Be a tough chance for Wibbs. He'll barehanded and make the throw over to first. That's a nice play to Retire Alex Kerrigan. Just one away badly earlier in the at bat. They want this one on the outside. Oh, he painted the outside corner stretch and doesn't like it, but it will be his third K of the day. Early square by Ramirez. The infield comes in. Here's the pitch, and he bunts it first base side. Bartolero will throw to second. Got him. How about that? That's a little chancy, but Bartolero did not hesitate. Ernie. Kicks and delivers, and he pops it down the right field line. Long run for Crow. Diving try, not going to get there. Cerny is on his way to second. Two runs are in, and the Trojans have broken the scoreless tie. Well, that may be the uh, softest hit double he will ever. One on, nobody out. And Oates ahead of the pinch hitter, Derek Jackson. Pitch, that's a breaking ball. Got him. Oh, a beauty. One away. Run for 10 days. Get that deep bruise there. It'll impact your wheels. One, two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Alexander is ready. Three, two pitch. Here it comes. He got him looking. Strike three called. He struck him out. And the Trojans have utilized five pitchers and they have shut out Jacksonville State tonight. And taking a big win, winning streaks four in a row now for Troy. That's outstanding work there by Oates. Got himself, uh, he didn't, you know, he had the error and had to work around it, but boy, he hit another gear there, striking out three good hitters there, the pinch hitter Jackson and then Adams and Alexander. And that's a big win for this Troy team to, as you said, continue that momentum. In the ninth inning, no runs, no hits, an error and a man left. Your final score in a dandy pitching matchup, the Troy Trojans two, and the Jacksonville State Gamecocks nothing.